All right, also this story, you're probably seeing headlines about it this morning. Violent brawls at more than a dozen malls around the country. This sparked panic among shoppers just one day after Christmas. Many of the incidents caught on cell phone video posted on social media. Sarah Seidner is following it live for us this morning from Los Angeles. I, I mean, do they know what sparked all of this yet? Yes, there are some police departments that have said that social media played a role saying something like come to the mall and fight. Uh, but they are looking into this and it's very odd that it's happening at so many different places. Very similar scenes. Let's take a look at some of what happened yesterday as people were going back to the mall as one does after Christmas to kind of hand back some of the gifts you don't want. You can hear people screaming here as punches uh, are thrown. And this is inside the shops at Buckland Hills. A large chase then ensues. You see people running there. Our affiliate in Hartford says one of the officers was assaulted trying to break up that fight. Then we move on to Fort Worth, Texas. That area and that mall that you see there, that's put on lockdown following a massive fight there, including over 100 middle school and high school students near the food court. Officers had to go store to store to let people out once that lockdown was lifted. Then we move on to Aurora, Illinois. This is the start of what evolved into a massive fight at Fox Valley Mall. Teenagers had to sprint down the stairs trying to get away after the fight broke out. The mall forced that mall to close for the entire day after that happened. Then in Ohio, this is ridiculous. You see this happening over and over again. That mall put on lockdown following unfounded reports at first of an active shooter and then police say that all began because a fight broke out among teenagers in the food court and someone mistakenly thought they heard gunfire. Then in Chattanooga, Tennessee, after police say teenagers set off fireworks, there were uh, people running and scurrying, worried that that was gunshots. It was not gunshots, but several shoppers were hurt there as they tried to get out of the way. And then in Aurora Town Mall in Colorado, that mall closed as well after several fights broke out inside the mall on several levels, mind you. And there were about 500 people all surrounding that area, some of whom were involved in fights. Police say it all started with a social media post promising a fight. And then lastly, here in Fayetteville, North Carolina, people also forced to evacuate after a massive fight broke out at a food court. Police are looking into this and trying to figure out if there's any connection between all of these, because it is very odd that you have more than a dozen of these happening across the United States, all inside malls. And they're checking so, social media, right? But so far, no evidence on social yeah. media? Yeah, they, they, they looked at social media and they are finding out that there were some instances where social media did prompt people to go to the mall and fight. But this is really odd for this to all happen all at once. So there's a lot of, lot of looking into that this morning. Don. Sarah, thank you very much.